So today we're fishing the Oswego River right in downtown Oswego. Our fishing picks up here usually late September through middle to late October. Um, we start a little later here just because the water stays warmer because of where it comes from is drawing from the surface of the Finger Lakes and Oneida Lake, so it stays on the warm side. Hey guys, we're just getting ready here. It's almost starting time. Um, using Atlas Mike's Glow Lunker Lotion on our plugs first thing in the morning. Helps those fish find our lures better in the dark. Plus it glows and you got the good smell that they like. All right, some people say that stuff doesn't necessarily work. It's pitch dark right there. You can see the Lunker Lotion glowing. Well, we got our first bite. He's taking some line. He don't like it. Whoa, we missed him. He just came up. So it's a little darker this morning with the overcast. I didn't want to bite right away. It took us a little longer to get our first bite. But with that overcast and dark skies, that Atlas Mike's glow loker, lunker lotion really seems like he was able to find this plug. Did you just break off? Yep. Another one ran in the line, I think. No, you know what that was? That was another one hit the line. There's Holy. Some big fish here. So that was caught on wow. one that ran. That's why I had him coming. Another one ran into our line and ran. And I saw a fish jump. I thought he broke off. He's still on there. That was another one that ran into our line and pulled that 50 feet of line. And our guy's just out there resting. Even his buddies are trying to help him get away. Yep. Here we are, Chris, with the first king in the morning. Nice specimen coming up out of Lake Ontario, real fresh. We're gonna put him back and go see if we can catch another one on plugs soaked in Atlas Mike's Lunker Lotion. Well, put him back out, we got another one. They're fighting now, buddy. That's a lot harder than it looks trying to fight them in there. One man wrecking crew. Well, Chris, that's number two for the morning. Ooh, ooh. Showed you how they like uh, Atlas Mike's Lunker Lotion. We get him back and we'll go catch some on some skein. What do you think? We're gonna let him go. All right, Chris, so that first one we had, he was real tired. So what we like to do is put him on this boga grip, let him hang over the side, let him wake up. And then it'll swim away. Ooh. 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 Got him. Not so easy when you only got two guys, but it's fun. Ready, Andy? All right. That's more like it. It's kind of fun. Early in the morning, these plugs are getting whacked first light. And I'm an egg fisherman. You no, know, we're sitting on a nice seam here that they like. And we got a nice soft edge to our right so we can pull them up in. Oh, oh, looking up on top, head shaking. Nice and easy, Chris. When he comes up out of that water, you just ease up on him. Keep that out nice and low. Bring him up to current. Well, you, you want me to, um, can you, can you uh, net and film? I think I can figure it out. Keep his head down. So what you're gonna wanna do with Chris is get him Bring way him up, right here. up here. Yep. You see how far upstream I try to get him? So when he comes up, he's gonna push in the current. Go right down one more time. Woo! 
Here's your fish, Chris. Nice big hen. Like I said, look at that belly full of eggs. If we were keeping fish, she'd be a perfect specimen to put some fire cure on. So here on the Oswego, uh, fish and skein under a float is the most popular technique these days. Um, pink, red, even some orange fire cure is starting to make its way into the fishery. Um, the way we like to fish them, it's a light action, nine foot rod. Uh, we run slip floats. We set them with a weight. Fluorocarbon leader, number two or number one owner SSW hook. Um, 4,000 size Shimano reels paired with, like I said, a nine foot light action rod. We like the lighter action rod because it's a deep water, eight to 12 feet, and the fish like to stay under the boat. We found with heavier rods, we had a little problem. The lighter rods seem to work better. Um, row here has been just phenomenal. The guys off the wall, they walk the, the slip floats. Um, it's really been a popular technique. You can walk up and down the wall, you'll see bags of dyed skein, cured skein all over the place. That's become the number one technique to catch kings here in the Oswego River. I like to use 14 pound mainline, and then for a leader, we run anywhere from 10 to 12 pound. Um, usually 12 get the job done, but when it's bright, sunny, clear water conditions, sometimes we bump it down to 10, and even at times we bump it down to eight, but you have a hard time trying to land kings on eight pound tests with these fiery fish. So when we're fishing for these kings, we're using skein, so it means the eggs still have the membrane on That's what holds it together. So we cut small chunks. People always ask how big, I don't know, quarter size, you know, maybe one inch square of membrane. And we get that membrane, we have a, we, we snell the hook on, tie an egg loop. So then when we put that in, it holds it on, holds it on the hook nice and tight. Oh, she's running. Oh, we've been fishing with skein for, I don't know, a minute. 30 seconds. I'll give you a minute. I had to dial you in first, even though you didn't get one. And uh, we got our first bite. She decided she wants to go back to the lake. This fish is hot. A lot of times they'll do that run, take off. Once you get their head turned, you get them to come back. The great thing about King Salmon, they never want to give up. They just pull and pull and pull. They get really big. That's why people love coming up the target. There he is, Chris. Nice skein eater. Uh, pink, a little brush of red fire cure. Dyed eggs is what convinced him to bite this morning. So we started off our morning today fishing plugs. We uh, sended them up with some Atlas Mike's uh, glow scent. Uh, the kings were real active first thing, low light. They were biting the plugs good. We landed a, a few kings. Uh, we switched over to bait fishing and we caught one instantly. We figured a bait bite was on, but unfortunately, when you're fishing a hydro control of the river, the hydro company changed the flow, moved the fish around. They had to settle back in. At that point, a uh, weather front moved in, and they just totally went off the bite. So we decided to pack it up and uh, head to lunch. Hotski products are available at sporting goods stores near you. If you can't find the specific color, size that you want, make sure to go to Potski.com. And as a thank you for watching Potski Outdoors, we're going to show you a coupon code to be used for 10% off your next order.